welcome, 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 welcome on next time, to Reese, me, Jovi, aka Reese's Wave. And we're gonna continue to more Mass Effect Legendary Edition. Getting on off the first one. Boom, boom, boom. Shit, I should plug my phone in. Boom, boom. So, yeah, continue left, left off, finish on Vermeer, do a couple side stuff, continue on with the main story. We're on a. Yeah, get from the tunnels, Pharaohs. Get attack, yeah. So, we're gonna do a. Def. He could get from the tower, but it's still it's the tunnels, blah, blah. Yeah. Okay, help I'll talk to other people, see if we can help them out. You're the one who repelled that last wave. They'll be back. And if the Geth don't kill us, we'll die of hunger soon enough. Are you doing anything to remedy the situation? I need to boost rations with Varen meat, but it's too dangerous. The Alpha Varen, he's huge and he's mad. Rabid, maybe. Totally uncontrollable. I can't do anything until he's dead. I have a ship. I could bring in supplies from off-world. I'd rather you concentrated on the Geth. Food won't help us if they breach our defenses. Tell me about Zoo's hope. The colony is growing. Or it was. But you should speak with Fidan. He is our leader. Tell me about hunting Varen. Hunting them is impossible while fending off the Geth. On the positive side, they'll attack anything. Even those damn synthetics. The big Alpha Varen is the real problem. He's mad, erratic, completely unpredictable. I have to go. So long, Commander. Hmm. However, he cannot run safe until you move to dangerous Alpha Varen. Nice work with those Geth. Glad you showed up. I still need the power cells for this generator, though. Would it help if I brought in some power cells from the Normandy? We can certainly spare a few. The top of the line ship doesn't use the same parts as the old generator we've got. The cells just aren't compatible. If I find anything while I'm looking around, I'll send it your way. Thank you, Commander. I appreciate it. Con it, con it. I'm sorry, but I can't stop to talk. I have to deal with the water shortage. Is there anything I can do? The utilities building was one of the first to fall under Geth control. Find the mains and turn them back on. Until then, this colony is dry. I have a ship fueled and ready to go. I could bring water in. Unless you plan to make a trip every few days, that wouldn't really solve our problem. I have to go. I wish you luck. I'll hold this position in case those things try to attack again. Not the best shot. I'll do what I can. That's comforting. Amy's. Hi. Commander, I was told to make my supplies available to you if you wish. Let me see what you have. Of course. I may be able to. Oh, all these are 10, 10, 10. Oh, mostly the 10. Elliot Armor License. How's it going? Ah, 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 ah. I told Aaron that you could actually. <laughs> Is there? Oh, yeah. This comparison. Hmm. It'd be good for the arrow. Alright. Not like I don't have money to spare. Shotgun. That's be better for it. Uh, uh, eh, it's not that better. Sniper equalizer. He was like, good, I don't like Ashley. <laughs> Nobody likes Ashley. Two four six.
Is there something I can do for you? I'm told to make all my goods available. What's a Solarian doing this on a... This Solarian game? goes where the credits are. A well-stocked freighter can be a profitable investment on a new colony. But once I was here, I decided to stay on. The colony life grows on you after a while. Let me see what you have. Of course. I'm... Got the weak stuff. To be honest, Yeah, nice. That's a quite cute few, yeah. Honestly, nobody likes Ashley. Gosh, she's just the worst. Like, no real redeeming quality about her. You're the commander of the ship that just landed. Are you the captain of this freighter? Not originally. The cap. We shouldn't even be here. The Solarian merchant promised us a. I wish. I suppose it could be worse. What's wrong with the ship? Isn't she spaceworthy? There's too much damage. Maybe if the Geth stopped attacking, I could fix. Then again, if there were no Geth, I might just stay on a while. Goodbye. Good luck out there. <laughs> Hello again. Goodbye. Good <laughs> luck out there. This work my. Hello again. Is there something I can? What do, do you do here? I'm just watching. <laughs> nothing else. She's good for hiding. Looks like you're monitoring. No, well, just ship diagnostics. It's nothing. I. I should get back to it, but if I down, what's the reason? Maybe I can help you. What are you no, trying? No, thanks, really. Now, please, I Gavin does what he can. All right, it's like not much I could do for now. How are you doing? What are you up to today? Did you get too much cleaning? Take some clothes at the end, Ferrari. Nice. Do you get like replacements or you just like I, I don't need these? Yeah, I've been slowly doing some more and more of that. Okay. I mean, it went to the craft store and bought with. Lost some of the money I got back. <laughs> nice. I was like your craft space coming along. I got me uh thankfully my wound is for the most part healing pretty nicely. I'm trying to see uh the craft store is next to the clothing store of course. But hey, at least you, got, you still got something that's useful out of it, so. Nice to see, you know, especially you got some time off. So I'll definitely love to see, you know, some more of your crafting stuff. 
It's been a while. Uh, I need to need work again. I'm starting to feel a little better, so I'm, I think I'm almost not much one here, but it's doable. Yeah. I'm starting to, now that I'm low dosage, I'm not quite there, but I am starting to get better. I still kind of want to wait. I'm probably going to start, hopefully, I want to try looking. I don't know if I say start applying right now, but I do want to kind of see what's out there. Um, just because hopefully, once I guess my next blood work and we kind of see where things going, hopefully if it's good enough that, okay, I can work, then yeah. Because I definitely want to start, like, you know, obviously, you know, I'm still kind of, will be here for a while, so I do want to try to make things a little easier for me and stuff. Um, like to get a better table. I've seen a good affordable one for like 70 bucks or so. Even, or even like a nice long table or something that I can put like my computer or my laptop and stuff. And I'd like to probably hang my TV to help free up some space and stuff. Uh, I did order at least, I had a couple spare credit. I, I did at least order, should be arriving Monday. Uh, what's it called? One of those cooler things uh, for the laptop. So, you know, I don't burn myself again. I like, eh, I got spare credit, so. Eh. And then, of course, I had to order something for my brother, but who got a bunch of money for himself. But no, I got to order it, apparently. Well, at least, you know, people, the people tell me, you got a cooling pad, yeah. I ordered one of those. Um. At least for now. I mean, I like to probably get my own computer, but I'm like, hey, it's like, I think it was like 15. I mean, it was obviously I had credit, but you know, it was like 15 bucks, so I was like, eh. This valve looks like part of a large system. There are likely others we need to activate as well. She was after a porn PC. <laughs> hey, Lord, what's up? I mean, I want to say no. One out of three power cells. Heck, yeah, my other brother, like, I honestly would do something like my other brother did where, like, uh, he got a couple spare parts, something cheap, uh, I said, like, I'm not looking to go too crazy expensive with certain things. Um, like, simple mouse and keyboard, I'm fine. Long as wireless. Uh, I think most of my computer, just like, as long as I could run in. How would make your matching PC with Robin look like a Casio? Huh? And I was like, Horn, your matching PC with Robin look like Casio calculator alert. <laughs> Yeah, cause that's not, I need to speak with someone like who knows for computer stuff. I might talk to my oldest brother. I'm trying for Garney, so from what I was going to do, I'm in full CBA mode. Full. C I, I I need like breakdowns of what you guys are saying. <laughs> I have no idea what you guys are saying. Uh, but I might talk to my oldest brother. Cause, like I'm not looking to go crazy, like Hammy Cavill build. Um, as I call the Harry Cavill build, because that's what my oldest brother did. Um, honestly, I may even speak to my dad. My dad used to put computers together. Can't be ours. Okay. Thank you. Also, feel free to curse. <laughs> um, yeah, because I'm, I'm looking for a most part, like, something just can run programs for most part. That can handle, like, I can view good quality. Uh, you know, like a decent monitor that can, that, that can like, view, like, especially with my eyesight. You know, I, I need, like, like almost like a fancy TV quality. Uh, why can't you be donkey? <laughs> um, but at least like you know, like I run programs and stuff and handle like a bunch of like, especially me, like a lot of files. Like I save a lot of videos and files and programs. So I need something that can like handle and run everything smoothly, without overheating and overclocking and stuff. Uh, Cause like I, said, I, I don't really game much on PC. It's not it's not my thing. Um, yeah, but. F you know, I still dabble, like, a few stuff, and then, but it's, like, it's more like, I want to be able to, like, run programs and stuff, and, you know, stream through my, you know, my PlayStation through the PC and all that. So that's something I want to kind of look forward into. Uh, tired from knackering myself off from cutting the grass in the back garden earlier. Oof. 
Is it a big garden? Yeah, I can't. I can, oh, God. I, I'm glad I, I've so far I haven't been able to really have to do much lately. PC game, you don't really need a top. Yeah, like, I, I don't, I'm, not, I'm not looking for anything super, like, top notch. Like, I'm not looking super crazy. Like, like, you know, like, more like mid tier, I guess it, it would be, make sense. Like, I'm not looking to go super crazy. Like, the most, if I was to, like, really dive money into it, would be, like, um, you know, go super nerdy and, like, the cosmetic shell. Like, you know, some people like to custom customize the shell. I, I would love to customize the shell. But, like, for, like, the innards and stuff, I, you know, I, 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 like I said, there's something that, like, you know, a lot of storage and can, like, run things smoothly are, like, my big two concerns. I, I don't need, like, the craziest, like, stuff that can run, like, the top games like that. I'm not too worried about. Science came in. I wish we did it. <laughs> no, God, it's lovely. Yeah, it, d it depends. When it comes to garden and stuff like that. Cause yeah, even like small gardens can be annoying. Oh crap. Oh, I found the Varens. Yeah. Alright, so that's done. Anything up here to telephone? Area secured. Yeah, that's all I got. I need someone like who knows I can help break things down. Cause like I said like. I want to make sure it's like it's able to run and like you know everything can, oh and high camp, you know everything can run smoothly and all that. And actually, while we're here, Lark, Arch right there, Lark, uh, we want to shout out uh, Mx says tomorrow we'll be doing a special stream. Uh, don't forget her to stream too. <laughs> uh, we're gonna be doing a way out. We're finally gonna do a way out tomorrow, and uh, she'll be also be doing the one chip challenge. So that's gonna be fun. <laughs> we'll see how long she can last. <laughs> Cause it's supposed to be a three to ten hour game, so uh, I, I I doubt we'll be able to do the whole OEI in one stream, but that's gonna be <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, so one chip has been acquired. Rose, hello, hello. How are you? How big of a chip are we talking about? Uh, I don't know how how big is it. Like, I know it's supposed to be like super spicy. It's, it's, it's supposed to be like this crazy like spicy. Like what's supposed to be like ghost pepper or something or or hotter? Hey, hey watch it there. <laughs> Okay, Kimi does. Kimi does have the band here. We're all doing good. We're doing good. Not too too hot today, thankfully. So you know, I'm just gonna be chilling. We did some cleaning, did some organizing. Oh God, Krogan. California. There you go, California. Yeah, that's for Carolina Reaper. That's what it is. Mass Effect Borg and Jeremy. No idea what you're talking about. Uh huh. Oh, Oh crap, oh crap, oh crap, uh, uh, uh. 
stay down. Okay, it's moving again. Ooh. I do not like prograde. They will wreck you. Uh, da, 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 da. What was that? So I saw the the new Battlefield announcement. What was that announced today? I saw some more stuff on the play date. I think what else has been announced today so far? Let's see, a couple of levels. Push up my points into Battlefield. Yeah, which, eh. No, 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 I'm, I'll probably watch the trailer later, but I'm like, also like, I don't know. Chip restore discount. I'm also like not too crazy about like, you know, those type of games really, you know. Like I used to play with quads and friends and all, but like Battlefield Quads is not really my thing. YouTube just has to calm down to the trailer. Huh. Yeah, cause then like, was it some Tomorrow, right? That's the uh, game uh, lead of T3. Tyler, what are you doing all the way over there? These people are brave, but the gap are relentless. What's my, yeah, like, oh, yeah. Which, you know, surprise, surprise, right? Yeah, some good fans. Hopefully we'll see some good stuff there. Still gotta catch up on some of the stuff, but uh, been fully catching up. Some of the other like game announcements. I, I, that, I feel like the indie announcements. I, I like they announced already another <laughs> another waifu game <laughs> with regular solitaire. I think of course. All right, nothing here. Yeah, there's quite a few of the indies I, I actually quite enjoyed. Oh, who's that? What are you doing here in the middle of a gif? Like, you don't want to go down there. We know you'll get that. <laughs> what are you doing down here? Nothing of course, of course. I should be anything I shouldn't. It filthy book. <laughs> no, there's a different next stream. Ah, where I count down. <laughs> that was a good one. Oh yeah. Very intense. What's the matter with you? Just invoking the master's whip helps remind me I'm still alive. Okay. You're looking for the Geth, aren't you? You're not the only one interested in those things. Who else is looking for the Geth? Not looking for. Looking to get rid of. They're a thorn in the side of the. Ah! I'm trying to get to the. Dying! <laughs> <laughs> this one is no longer fit. We should leave him. You know what we should do, uh, the next time when you should just have a countdown going, like something's gonna about to happen, and it's really just like the countdown for like the stream to end or whatever. <laughs> like, alright, and here's the thing we wait for. What's this countdown all about? Well, it's... This stream is now over. <laughs> the largest of hot to stream. Uh, so yeah, yeah the, the, for what we say, the ending games, yeah, it was like Drunken Fist, Definitely the Pretty Girls, Empire of Angels 4, 
Uh, Mina and Michi reminds me of like Milo's Quest, those people. So that was kind of, uh, I was looking at that one. And then uh, Trigger Witch. Which I was like, <laughs> gun magic. <laughs> Is there anything I can do to help you? Do you even want help? Help me? No. No one can help me now. I'd rather die fighting. Fighting what? Not that kind of fight. It's like running through a thorn bush. The more you struggle, time's up. To end my <laughs> Ask Vidan. Ask him about the. Well, ah! uh, next, Lard and Geo. We'll write all the new stuff so on their legs. <laughs> I mean, ooh. Nope. Oh. second I'll be right back I'll let Lord entertain you Oh, there you go. Okay. Um, uh, it's all about sending the package in a good manner, and they will turn it to category and say, <laughs> I'm not setting a point. I'm not setting a point, me in the hot tub. That's when we want to refund the bleach for eyes at a point. <laughs> so we're saying we have to. No, see. That's what you do, Lord. You threaten us with a hot tub stream unless we donate to Extra Life, so you don't do it. 
Ja. So we we will not conform. And it turned to a bleach ivory stream, yeah. So let's bring it to May. Yep. And then the meat. This is the transmitter. So I still need to find the other water valves. I haven't seen any other water valves though. Not yet activated. That's I do not believe we are finished yet. We should look for another valve. Okay, so I'm gonna see one more around here somewhere. Nothing over here. Let's see over here. Nope. Nope. To, 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 which, speaking of actual life, exclamation mark, actual life. Everyone wants to help donate to a good cause. Uh, we already got two incentives down. Technically, we'll be doing three since, you know, tomorrow's from last year, but tomorrow's from, like, last year's incentive. Um, I said we'll be doing the one, the a way out stream with the one chip from Kimmy. Uh, but yeah, like I said, we already did my Hollow Knight stream. Um, which I definitely want to play some more of that. And then at well, some point, I'll, uh, most likely next week, I'll do my Dark Souls 1 stream. That's going to be fun. And if you want to watch me do Dark Souls 2 and 3, I'll see you know. And then you can put into that pot. Uh, greatly appreciated. It all helps. All, you know, all for a good cause. As well as we actually hit, so I'm hit, able to hit the full... Uh, goal, you know, I'll have to do another spicy wings. Hopefully, find from a better location. Uh, but yeah, do a spicy wings and a, a Souls game of choice, which now we have a lot more Souls games to pick from. I miss. Alright, I think that's everything. We all put these things. Clear. I'll do it. But that's the action life link where everyone wants to help donate to a good cause. Help her out. Uh, I remember this area being complete bastard originally. Uh. Probably I have my abilities and the fact that I'm like really like <laughs> overpowered myself early on. I just want like all out. Like, even the first sand fight wasn't that bad. To be honest. Alright, let's talk to everyone again. 
Hello again, Commander. I killed the big Varen. The rest are yours. Excellent. I'll organize a hunt when the immediate threat of the Geth is gone. Just pay up. I have to go. Here, for your trouble. It's not much, I know, but it's all we can spare. Nice work with those Geth. Glad you showed up. I still need the power cells for this generator, though. I found these power cells in the tunnels. Are they what you're looking for? I knew they'd turn up eventually. Here, Fidan gave me some requisition money. Now if I can kick these power cells in place, this colony up and... The water started running not long ago. Thanks. Now we just need to deal with the Geth and we can get back to growing this colony. Here, a few credits for your trouble. Thank you again. Who else I talk to? Tunnels, blah, blah. Kiss it so precious. Yeah, it hasn't been too difficult, but we'll see how it is when I have to do my insanity run. Commander, what can I do for you? I destroyed a Geth transmitter in the tunnels. It won't be a problem any longer. Thank you, Commander. You've taken a great weight off my shoulders. I just wish I had such good news for every problem. Let's talk about Zeus, Hope, and Pharaoh. Of suggest. course, Commander. Some of the colonists are acting strange. We're a close-knit group, Commander. Most of us have lost loved ones. These aren't trained soldiers. This Nobody is our home. We've watched the Geth slowly destroy everything that is important to us. Don't judge us too harshly. There's a guy living down in the tunnels. Oh, I remember the machine for a while. That would be oh, deep. for sure. He's very sick. He seems to be more than just sick. He hasn't been the same since the attack. We tried to help him, but he wouldn't listen to us. I can't help my people if they won't listen, Commander. Don't you have medical supplies? Something to help him? I wish it was that simple. Ian was a good man I'd like to have with us. Please, Commander. I'd prefer not to talk about it anymore. I'll talk to you when I learn more. Good luck, Commander. Okay, now what? Uh, the gift of Typhara is your primary objective to go to Sukhan. Now what? Do I just go take the elevator? I think I how still gotta find the rest of those things. We'll see. Uh... Oh yeah, I don't think I could take this before. Get to the Mako. And now to the Geth base. Not something an intelligent being would typically say. To, right. Yeah, because I say, even the first one's been really solid game. Are they looking for? We are receiving a weak comm signal. I cannot pinpoint its location through the Geth interference. Like, I didn't honestly, for the most part, besides say I, I get the weird, like, double stick controls, I don't find the Mako all that bad. Um, honestly, I feel like my only criticism, and it's from like a very first game, well, technically, do. Um, but my only real criticism is there's a lot of like copy paste for a lot of like the a lot of areas.
Like they sort of tweak some stuff around, but you can tell they like really copy pasted a lot of areas. Uh, a lot of, like the inner areas and stuff. And then my only other some of complaint about that is like but it's like the same complaint from like two and three, which I only originally played two and three was Ashley sucks. Ashley is just the worst. Understood. Like gosh, she has like no redeeming quality about her. I could not wait to kill her off. <laughs> so I never had to do, deal with her in two and three. So at least like what I don't know kind of for the most part, I feel like the beats from two and three, I feel like make way more sense with him than they do with Ashley. So you see a lot from him. Oh yeah, that's the thing like, yeah, maybe there'd be small tweaks, which they do do small tweaks here. Um, yeah, outdoors isn't as bad for the most part. A lot of the plans that they do change enough. Uh, it's just one of like this is clearly the same one room, which well, yes, that's true, but multiple aliens in a game like this, like multiple aliens and humanity and like complete galaxies different. The fact that we have like the exact same room, like eons apart. Now, if it was one central planet, then yes, that I can understand. But yeah, for that, I do yeah, because like, it just be the face. Like, if it was the same conversation of people, then yes. But after this game, they do try to work around that saying like oh yeah we all work together for the most part but even then it wouldn't be necessarily the exact same you know that's what I'm saying because oh. it, it's one thing like yes if you had the same thing but like also like there'll still be variations is what I'm saying instead of just like the same one pattern Which is something you do see in later games, and a lot of the first games are this, like... Again, that, that's why I said this, I do give some leeway, also being the first game. I'll see other games that will, like, add on to me. Yeah. That's close enough. Relax, Jong. They're obviously not Geth. Get back, Juliana. Who are you? What do you want? Commander Shepard. Mm. I'm here to remove your Geth problem. You see? You worry too much. Can you trust too easily, Juliana? I'm just glad to see a friendly face. I thought we were the only humans left on this planet. By Dan and some of the members of Zoo's Hope are still alive. I thought you said they were all dead. I said they were probably all dead. They're surviving despite everything the Geth have done to them. We know what that's like. Those damn synthetics are relentless. Oh yeah, and listen, being the first game, I'm, I'm not too like. I was yeah, I'm more spoiled by like two and three and Andromeda and stuff. I'll do whatever I can to keep them away from you, but I need some information. What kind of information? Ignore him. The Geth are up in the Exogeny headquarters, just a bit further along the Skyway. Those headquarters are private property, soldier. Remove the Geth and nothing else. What is this witch effort? That's funny, we just had some Geth. Passed by, told us they were here to remove Shepard problem. <laughs> I'm not interested in your company secrets. 
Commander, before you go, my daughter, Lisbeth, she's missing. They shouldn't waste time poking around. We can do a oh, shut up. Can I kill this guy? After the are gone. That's my daughter you're talking about. She's still alive. I know it. Where is your daughter, Juliana? She was working in the Exogeny building when the attacks came. Oh, yeah, there were several places she could hide. For a short time. If she's in there, I'll get her out. Thank you, Commander. Thank you. Do you know what the Geth are after? I have no idea. We certainly haven't found anything of use. Something Exogeny is keen yeah. to remind us of. We need to recoup our expenses. Nothing personal. Yeah, and I said, for something like, again, a first game, even though there's Bioware stuff, I guess I'm not too surprised. Like I said they were focused more on certain things than others. Tell me about the colony. We established ourselves here four years ago. Growth was steady until the attacks. Our biggest challenge has been the lack of resources. There's just so little here of value. Still, we were making a go of it. It was even starting to feel like home. What brought you here? I guess I thought this would be the start of a new Lord life. Said, Look, we'll kill I wanted to go where I could feel like I was making a difference. Instead, everything we built is destroyed. It's very hard not to lose hope. Joey Shepard. Oh, how about say? Where is your daughter, Juliana? Somewhere at the Exogeny headquarters, I hope. What was the building used for? Oh, yeah, we repurposed that structure to serve as headquarters for Exogeny. That's mostly office. Exogeny is a master at repurposing anything and everything. The company has to make a profit somehow, Juliana. Ferros is a long way from self-sufficient. How did you get split up from the Zeus Hope colony? Most of us live closer to the Exogeny building. Zeus Hope was mostly used as a port. When the Geth hit, we scattered. Until you told us about the others, we assumed they were killed. Ben was still on the Garner Mark to Lark. Ah, uh, no worries. If they were still alive, we might have attempted to join them. They're fairly secure now. Maybe you should do that. No, 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 no. I don't think that's a good idea. We, we have no vehicles, and the Skyway offers little protection. Like the building we're in now. Listen, our best hope is to sit tight and wait for company reinforcements. Sure, they will. Eventually. Sure. Because we all know corporate cares about their. Stay employees. bunkered down until I find out what to get. Of course. And please remember, if you see my daughter... I was hoping you'd have a moment to speak with me. I've got a bit of a problem. What do you need? I need to retrieve some data. It's not a big job, but it pays well. Sounds easy enough. What's the catch? So I started to no play catch, really. with it's my new paints. Forgot I've gotten food while I was out. Now I have cold food. What is it about you that makes people assume we enjoy being in harm's way? It's not that bad, really. All you need to do is find my console at Exogeny headquarters and drop the data onto this OSD. It's that simple. I'll look around if I get the chance. I appreciate it. That data could be worth a lot of money. Oops. Of course, this all depends on getting out of here alive. If I work in the middle of nowhere, if your skills are so useful... Maybe I've got a bit of the frontier spirit in me. That, and the alternative is a bit too secure for my... Freelancers don't have to worry about security as much, so long as we keep a low profile. Tell me about the data. Plans for a few prototype mod? I'm a freelancer. Some of my mods are highly... Time to get moved. Just keep in mind what I say. Oh, you just... Why? We've been trapped for days. Alright. We ran when the attack came. Another side quest? You suck. Uh, please! Oh, and I must inform you that the company will not be responsible for any injuries. You're not much of a people person, are you? I like people. I just... Someone needs to worry about the bottom line. I'm going. Yeah. These people have their shot. The frontier is a lot more dangerous than most people realize. Alright, so there's much, much... So let me get like, that one side quest, data recovery. And basically helping find her daughter. Go okay, back. No worries. Gonna warm up your food. I can eat some food. Cold food versus hot paints. Not sure which is better. <laughs> I 
Honestly, it depends on the food. Oh, I finished my uh one other plus games. Wait. Shut down the call. We've got incoming gas. Damn it. Shut down the call. Why am I shutting down? The call. Uh, see what I'm saying. Yeah, one of the old plus games. I finally finished uh, my first playthrough. Uh, Erica. It's like the Lightitious like, game. One of those like uh, life. What else like R L F F M V whatever games. It's not bad. Pretty solid. Got a couple of runs. A couple more runs to do. Got like four more playthroughs to do to platinum it. But uh. You get a good chunk of the trophies, I think, the, your first run, if you do it right. The only thing about, like, the Erica, unlike the Tish's game, is uh, you can't skip cutscenes. Like, you have to play through the whole game, you know, the whole run every time. But still, like I said, it's not bad. You definitely want to earn a couple trophies. And, uh, fairly easy platinum. I think for the most part, each play is like a... Hour or less, give or take. For the second or later, oh yeah, especially the the complex, yeah, oh yeah. When you're able to skip, even after like the first, yeah, like you said, the second, later ones, and the more and more you do, so you're just like to the point like it takes like maybe minutes for like the last few playthroughs. But like, yeah, with, with uh, Erica, like you have to play through the whole thing. So like the first one was about an hour and a half. Um, the rest is about later on. But yeah. Be yeah, about it's about an hour. At least the first one's a give or take about an hour and a half. Especially if you're following a guy, just because you know I'm like double checking, I'm not missing anything. Um, but like I think the whole five playthroughs was about like uh, I think the video is like six hours, and even then it's like it's taking its time to make sure like you, you react. So like really it's like a lot less. So it's, so it's about an hour, give or take. Really like you know obviously you want to double check you're picking you're picking the right options. Um, if you, if you care about like doing specific runs or specific endings, you know, like collectibles, whatever you're missing trophies. But like, yeah, it's each one is definitely like, no more than like you're, you're not really gonna hit two hours with, with any of the runs. It just again, like, depends if you really care about like you game specific, you, you know, uh, collectibles and stuff. Resistance will be extremely heavy once we are inside. Oh, 
up here. Oh god. It's okay to stretch my legs, I'm fine. Go back to my vehicle. Unless there's anything else here, just double check. Make sure I not miss anything. Check the map. Oh, yeah, this is. Uh, no, that's what's. No, that's my car. I don't see another way in. At least not from these maps. Oh, I see. Well, we're going down. Oh, yeah. Damn oh. it! I'm so sorry. You should damn. I thought you were Geth or one of those Varen. Check first. You're safe now. But why were you here in the first place? It's my own fault. Everyone else was running, and I stayed to back up data. Next thing I knew, the Geth ship latched on, and the power went out. I was trapped. I, I tried to get out, but the way was blocked. We'll get you out, as soon as we find out what the Geth are after. It's not the Geth. It's the energy field they put up. They don't want anyone else getting access to the... I'm here for the Geth. It's very important I find out what they're after. I don't know for certain, but... I'm guessing they're here for the Thorian. Thorian? What is that exactly? It's an indigenous life form. Exogeny was studying it. What else can you tell me? Do you know where I can find this Thorian? I... I might be able to, but not with those Geth crawling around everywhere. Look, we need to get out of here, past that field. Do you know how we can shut it down? No, not exactly. But I think the Geth ship is powering it. I've noticed the Geth laying power cables every... You could follow those cables, but there's Geth all over the place. Tell me about yourself. I'm just a research assistant for Exogeny. I came here with my mother. Yeah, yeah, she's I like... I don't know if she made it out alive. She's with some others from the colony. She's safe for... She's alive? Oh, thank God. I thought I was the only one left. Please, Commander, just get that field down so I can see my mother again. Tell me what you know about the Thorian. I really don't know that much about... I know it's very old thousands of years even why do you think the geth would be interested in the thorian it's just a plant i don't know 
Exo Jenny was studying it, but hmm. I don't think they found anything special. You stay put. I'll go over. Oh, here, take my ID. This should get you past any locked doors. Sweet. Good luck with that field. If you just hang back there. <laughs> so we went this way. Stupid machine! Access encrypted files. No, I don't want to review protocol. <laughs> I am unable to comply. Please contact your supervisor. Damn it! Tell me what I want, or I'll blast your virtual ass into actual dust! <clears throat> Please contact your supervisor for a level 4 security exemption, or make an appointment with- STUPID MACHINE! If there is nothing else, please step aside. There is a queue forming behind you for the use of this console. Jenny oh. Corporation reminds all staff that the discharging of weapons while on company property is strictly forbidden. Welcome back, research assistant Elizabeth Bainham. What can I do for you? What information was the last user attempting to access? Fetching data. The previous user was attempting to access details on the study of subject species 37, the Thorian. Tell me everything you told the Krogan. I was unable to provide the previous user with any relevant data. Aside from lacking proper access, there has been no new data. All sensors monitoring the observation mm -hmm. post at Zoo's Hope have been inactive for several cycles. What does Zoo's Hope have to do with the Thorian? Species 37 is located within the substructure of the Zoo's Hope outpost. Tell me everything you know about the Thorian. The Thorian is a simple plant life form that exhibits a sentient behavior uncommon with other flora. Through dispersion and the eventual inhalation of spores, it can affect and control other oh. organisms, including humans. The Zoo's Hope Control Group has yielded interesting results. Before sensors went offline, almost 85% of all test subjects were infected. Are you saying Exogeny knew its people were getting infected? It was deemed necessary to assess the true potential of Species 37. That explains their strange behavior. Your pilot should be warned. Joker. Come in, Joker. Damn it. That field's blocking us. We must find a way around the field. We must get back to Zoo's Hope. B.I., what can you tell me about the Geth ship and the field it's generating? I have limited data on the Geth. They have effectively blocked all sensors within the facility. I have detected unusual power fluctuations, but am unable to determine the source. What do you know about the Geth? I have no specifics on the Geth as they relate to this facility. All sensors have been purposely decommissioned since their arrival. I want to know about Exogeny. Exogeny Corporation is at the forefront of human expansion in the new galactic economy, funding colonial development and securing resource rights to ensure our progress as a species. Further inquiries regarding company policy may be directed to consumer information services during regular business hours. Who's in charge here? Who organized the research? All decisions about local resource analysis and acquisition are made by on-site management deferring Definitely to the board talk of directors that do only again. when seasonal quotas are missed or exceeded. Individual employee records are confidential. Tell me about the Thorian. Species 37 was discovered several weeks... The outpost was... Within 21 days, 58% of colonists exhibited altered behavior. Within 28 days, 85%. Do you know how the creature controls its slaves? 
The will subversion manifests as intense pain if directives are ignored. The effect is severe enough that subjects are soon conditioned against even minor thoughts of rebellion. Observation suggests the Thorian views its thralls in a utilitarian way. Care is apparently taken to avoid injuring them, much as a craftsman avoids damaging his tools. As long as no action is taken against the creature's objectives, the subjects are free to pantomime a normal existence until specifically tasked with something. Where's the center of this thing? The Thorian is present as a weave of tendrils across much of the lower surface of Pharos. Observation of enslaved subjects suggests there may be key clusters that are tended by thralls. Unfortunately, direct observation of species 37 is limited or non-existent. Is it intelligent? Can I reason with it? The Thorian does not exhibit the focused behavior of a predator. The release of spores is an act of survival, not aggression. It does trigger advanced behaviors in the humans it enslaves, but we have yet to discover whether it recognizes or is capable of recognizing humans as more than tools. It is sufficiently alien as to defy classification at this time. What's the size of this thing? The Thorian appears to be a diffused creature. Its cognitive abilities are centered in large nerve bundles, but it receives data from kilometers of meandering tendrils. We have discovered bundles approximately one meter in diameter, but these seem insufficient to coordinate the massive sensory potential it possesses. It may simply process such stimulation slowly, or perhaps there is a nerve cluster of a greater magnitude we have not yet encountered. Um, size about five. Oh God! Okay. Uh. Please access my Elizabeth personal. Bainham, research assistant, biomedical division, security level four exemption. You are currently under probation due to disagreements with management over established company policy. These sanctions may be lifted if your next evaluation is more agreeable. What triggered the probation? You were marked as combative about the operations of the Zoo's Hope Project, specifically regarding the handling of the infected colonists. As they a result, not. you were tasked with monitoring the safety of the colonists for the duration of the observation. That's enough for now. Going to standby mode. Or at least the ones who are separated from students, but they're not over there. That's why they all stay separated and stuff. The Geth used these claws to anchor their ships to the sides of buildings. Indelicate, perhaps, but very efficient. How do we cut the power if it's coming from the ship? It will be difficult. We can check the other claws for weaknesses, but the Geth... This structure seems to have significance for the Geth. Is it possible they set up this room to serve as a sacred temple of sorts? The Geth blur the line between organic and synthetic life. It's natural to assume they seek understanding from a higher power. This structure seems to have significance for the Geth. Is it possible they set up this room to serve as a sacred temple of sorts? The Geth blur the line between organic and synthetic life. It's yeah, natural yeah, yeah. to assume they seek understanding from a higher power. Yeah. 
get that trophy. That's the last of them. Nice. Very cool. Boom, so I just have to do yeah, continue from here. Uh one more coin. Yeah, I got a data. Yeah, that's a lot. Did I miss something? Yeah, no, that's at that end. <sighs> Be right back. <sighs> yep. That's all I gotta say. Yep. Uh, anyways, we'll see. How's everybody's hump day? Any plans? Any games you're working on? Oh crap. Probably get back to some more cleaning, organizing. Making some lists and stuff. Kind of figuring things out. Get ready things for tomorrow. No, I ain't too worried about it, especially this weekend. Confidential the test samples were due to arrive days ago. Can you fall time? I recommend cutting off all further contact with the no Chris Connie. Discovered no one should be able to trace the events back to us. Definitely be checking that out. Yep, 
yep, yep, yep, yep. Ah, oh, here we go. Same as before, we don't have the ordinance to blow this claw. Let's keep looking. Ah, uh, great. That we lack the other claws. Dislodge even one claw, and that ship will fall. All right, so we'll check if something else. Yeah, I'm definitely looking at. It. Hopefully, uh, when I get back to Erica, I don't know if I'll get the platinum today. Today, um, but I definitely want to look into getting that. Probably get another playthrough or two or that. Um, I might see if uh, Liz wants to do something tonight. I'm not sure what we're supposed to do here. Okay, okay, okay I get it. Alright, I have to find it to the right, like. Thinking outriders tonight. We'll see. Outriders or finishing Operation Tango. Very good. The field barring the exit will be down. Now we can go deal with the Storian creature. I hope that ship was full of those Geth bastards. I repeat, Normandy to shore party. Are you reading? Anyone there? Normandy to shore party. Come on, Commander. Talk to me. Is that you, Joker? What's going on over there? We're in lockdown here, Commander. Something happened to the colonists. They're banging on the hull, trying to claw their way inside the ship. They're freaking out. They can't do any real damage. We're on our way back. Just hold your position. Uh, yeah, okay. Well, we'll just wait right here for you, Commander. This place will be crawling with Geth in a minute. Keep together and we'll get out of here in one piece. Might pick me up some other, like I said, uh, any games on sale. Would we'll love to, love to grab it. Takes two, but uh, I, don't if, I don't have enough credit for that. Like I said, hopefully next time it's on sale. Maybe it'll, it'll be a bigger sale too. I definitely recommend like if you have a good call partner, uh, like a really good one, good like uh, friend, or also be a great couples game. Oh crap! And definitely Operation Tango. That game's a lot of fun. You haven't downloaded it yet? Definitely do. Hey, Cerberus.
Looks like we got some side quests to do after this. It's fine, I still have a lot to explore and do. Right. I still have a lot of those materials I'm missing. Wrong way. I overshot it. Gotta get tired too easily. So, yeah, this way. There you are. We should get out of here. I don't think this place is safe. I need some answers. You knew more about the Thorian than you let on. Yeah. I... I was afraid. I wanted to stop the tests, but they threatened me. Told me I'd be next. When the Geth attacked, I stayed behind to send a message to Colonial Affairs. I tried to tell them where to find the Thorian, but the power cut before I could send the message. Uh -huh. I, I, I never meant for this to happen. You did what you could. I'll help them, if you can tell me where to find the Thorian. The Thorian is underneath Zoo's Hope, but the entrance is blocked. The colonists covered it with the freighter just before the Geth attacked. But why are the Geth after the Thorian? What could Saren want with it? Well, it does have unique mind control capabilities. That's what Exogeny was interested in. Normandy to shore party, come in. What is it, Joker? We're getting a lot of Geth comm chatter. Looks like they're headed your way. Thanks for the heads up, Joker. You heard the man. Let's move out. I'm coming Rolo. with you. I might be able to help. Undo the mess I helped create. Oh, I cannot wait for Mass Effect to jump into two, but I said I'm probably going to take a small uh, break. I'm not sure what I'll do after I finish this one. Because um, I do want to jump into two, but I also want to uh, uh, do the Sandy run. I'd rather, like, do my Sandy run, uh, probably off stream, before I jump into uh, two. I don't know, let's see. This is Juliana Bainham of Pharaoh's Colony. Please help us. That's my mom. Stop, stop, they're over. Yep. Where are you going? Right. 
You can't do this, John. Everyone shut up. Uh, let me think. Oh, just oh, kill him. God. You won't get away with this. Get her out of here! Get away from her, you son of a bitch! Don't, you been... idiot. Damn it! Come, come out where I can see you! All of you! Shepard, damn it. I knew it was too much to hope the Geth would kill you. I Here's found you. some interesting facts about you in the Exogeny database. I know what you did during the Blitz, but your heroics aren't needed here. We can talk this out. Nobody needs to get hurt. You, you don't understand. It's not that easy. Communications are back up. Exogeny wants this place purged. This is a human colony, Jong. You can't just repurpose us. It's not just you. There's something here far more valuable than a few colonists. You're after the one unique thing Pharos has. The Thori. The what? It's a telepathic life form living under Zeus' hope. It's taking control of the colonists there. Exogeny knew all along. You won't get away with this, Jong. So you keep saying, but nobody's gonna miss a few colonists. Can't you see the inherent potential in this colony? Think of the promotional opportunities. Opportunities? What the hell are you talking about? Blue Ice Tourism. They recovered from an alien attack on a frontier world. Add that to your company profile. Well, yeah. No one's ever gone broke playing the champion of humanity card. Sadly, you'd probably make a killing. But if it will let us get back to our lives, I'm for it. It just might work. Wait, no, but, but the infected colonists will throw a bit of a wrench in that plan. No, no, they need to disappear. You can't just kill the colonists. It's not their fault. If you kill only the Thorian, it might be enough to stop the infection. Maybe. It's worth a try, but I don't know if I can avoid harming the colonists. There has to be another way. Maybe there is. Come and talk to me before you leave, Commander. Just make sure there's no evidence when you're done. Oh god, seriously, can I just kill this dude? Before we go, talk to her. Any luck finding my workstation out in the ruins? I managed to find the data and transfer it to your That's OS. very good news. Indeed. Trophy Thank completionist. You. Complete the majority of the game. I was there anyway. It was the least I could do. Well, I appreciate it. Here, you certainly earned this. Thanks again, Commander. Oh, look at that full paragon. Little bad guy. Twenty oh my god, almost twenty hours. It's almost time, isn't it? Maybe we can free our friends after all. I'm glad you've decided to help us. I think there's a way to avoid killing the colonists. What did you have in mind? I think you could safely use a nerve agent to neutralize the colonists. Like a gas grenade. Releasing clouds of nerve gas doesn't seem like a particularly good idea. It's not like it's weapons grade. The insecticide we use in the grow labs contains trace amounts of tetraclopene, a neuromuscular degenerator. If their nervous systems are already weakened, it may act as a paralyzing agent. A reduced capacity concussion grenade might suit our needs. Sounds good. I'll do what I can. Excellent. Thank you so much, Commander. Need for the anti dark guys upgrade this for the table. We'll stay out of your way. Basically, da -da -da, grenades. We go anti thorian gas. I'm the only one who can equip it, right? Let's hope this goes well. Come 
Come on. Yes. I drive like this real good in real life too. Alright, okay, kill throwing creepers at will, but voice lane colonists, okay. Using melee attacks or anti- okay. No amount of infection could have altered a human to that extent. I wonder what is going on here. No hitting the colonists, even if the Thorian makes them fire on us. That's what the gas grenades are for. As you order, Commander Shepard. There we go, first specialist trophy. That's another trophy. I did not mention that. Careful guys, careful, careful. Let the thorn come here. Don't want to accidentally hit the colonists.
think if I melee, then it should be okay. Okay, yeah. Just knocked out. Good, good, good. Temporary wall in combat. Why not? Come? There we go. That was just making sure that that wouldn't be lifted. I tried to fight it, but it gets in your head. You can't imagine the pain. I was supposed to be their leader. These people trusted me. It wants me to. Stop you, but I won't. I won't. No. Well, that happens. To, to copyright, 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 copyright. All right, we just need to find this creature and determine what it. What I think we found it. Kila. What is that? That does not look like any plant I've ever seen. This may be problematic. Yeah. Gross. Invaders, your every step is a transgression. A thousand feelers appraise you as meat, good only to dig or decompose. I speak for the old growth as I did for Saren. You are within and before the Thorian. It commands that you be in awe. You gave something to Saren. Something I need. Saren sought knowledge of those who are gone. The old growth listened to flesh for the first time in the long cycle. Trades were made. Then cold ones began killing the flesh that would tend the next cycle. Flesh fairly given. The old growth sees the air you push as lies. 
It will listen no more. I won't let you keep your thralls. Release them, now. No more will the Thorian listen to those that scurry. Your lives are short. Enemy sighted. Your blood will feed the ground that you burn. I should have said things differently. It's over now. It's over nine thousand. Now, can we together or do I have to keep killing your peeps? That had the desired effect, I believe. A few more and it will be severely hurt. I am going through these my kids this area.
should be one more. Sabotage, stasis, barrier. Ah, <sighs> oh, I don't think I have enough points. Oh, let's see. One, two, three, four, twenty eight, twenty nine, thirty. Yeah, maybe. I don't think so.
Alright, I'm back. Sorry about that. character build. Still missing a weak point somewhere? Okay, not there. Yeah, I can't go down. I'm missing something. There you go. Commander Shepard, we're on the right track.
I'm free. I... I suppose I should thank you for releasing me. Is everything all right? Are you hurt? I am fine, or I will be, in time. My name is Shiala. I serve, I, I served Matriarch Benezia. When she allied herself with Saren, so did I. I came to this world in search of the Thorian. Saren needed its knowledge, and he needed my biotic abilities to communicate with it. Saren offered me in trade. I was sacrificed to secure an alliance between Saren and the Thorian. Saren's pretty quick to betray his own people. He was quick to betray the Thorian, too. After he had what he wanted, he ordered the Geth to destroy all evidence of its existence. Saren knows you are searching for the Conduit. He knows you are following his steps. He attacked the Thorian so you could not gain the Cypher. What's the Cypher? And why did Saren need it? The beacon on Eden Prime gave you visions. But the visions are unclear, confusing. They were meant for a Prothean mind. To truly comprehend them, you must think like a Prothean. He must understand their culture, their history, their very existence. The Thorian was here long before the Protheans built this city. It watched and studied them. When they died, it consumed them. They became a part of it. So the Thorian taught Saren to think like a Prothean. How? The Cypher is the very essence of being a Prothean. It cannot be described or explained. It would be like describing color to a creature without eyes. To understand, you must have access to endemic ancestral memory. A viewpoint spanning thousands of Prothean generations. I sense this ancestral memory, the Cypher, when I meld it with the Thorian. Our identities merged, our minds intertwined. Such knowledge cannot be taught. It simply exists. I need that knowledge to stop Saren. There is a way. I can transfer the knowledge from my mind to yours, as I did with Saren. Try to relax, Commander. Slow, deep breaths. Let go of your physical shell. Reach out to grasp the threads that bind us, one to another. Every action sends ripples across the galaxy. Every idea must touch another mind to live. Each emotion must mark another's spirit. We are all connected. Every living being united in a single Bum, chicken, wah, wah. existence. Open yourself to the universe, Commander. Open your eyes. <laughs> Oh, yeah. I have given you the cipher, just as it was given to Saren. The ancestral memories of the Protheans are part of you now. What was that? Commander Shepard, are you all right? I saw... something. It still didn't make any sense. You have been given a great gift. The experience of an entire people. It will take time for your mind to process this information. We should get you back to the ship where you can be monitored. I'm sorry if you have suffered, but there was no other way. You needed the cipher. In time, it will help you understand the vision from the beacon. Do you know what the conduit is? Or where it is? No, I'm sorry. All I know is that Saren believes the conduit was the key to the Prothean extinction. Then whatever it is, we cannot let him have it. You have the cipher. In time your visions will clear, they will lead you to the conduit. I only pray you find it before Saren does.
Is there anything else you can tell me about the Thorian? When the creature enveloped me, I became part of it. But I still don't truly understand it. So alien, so ancient. Its exact age is impossible to know. It measured time differently. 10,000 years of hibernation broken by a few frantic centuries of activity. Its mind was awesome, magnificent. It transcended all classification. And now it is gone. Don't tell me you feel sorry for that thing. The Thorin was a unique life form. A sentient being that lived for 50,000 years, maybe more. There is nothing even remotely like it. I am grateful you saved me from a life of thraldom. Yet I cannot help but feel some sorrow for the loss of such a rare and remarkable creature. What else can you tell me about Saren? There is little <laughs> I could tell you that you do not already know. He's powerful, he's charismatic, and he is dangerous. Once I followed him, blind to his true nature. But now I see he's leading the galaxy into an age of darkness and suffering. I want to know more about you. There is nothing remarkable about me. I was merely one of Matriarch Benezia's disciples. For nearly two centuries, I followed her, learning at her feet. When Benezia revealed her plan to join Saren, she gave her disciples a choice. Only those who were willing had to follow her. Many felt her plan was too dangerous. But I believed in her. I thought she could turn Saren away from his insanity. Instead, we joined him in it. Now that you're free of the Thorian, what are you planning to do next? If you allow it, I would like to stay here with the colonists. They have suffered greatly, and I played a role in their suffering. I would like to make amends. The colonists will need all the help they can get. They'll be Thank happy you, Commander. Now. May fortunes... I can't believe it. Jong says we'll have all the money we need to keep this place running. It's because of you, Sheriff. I can't thank you enough. Thank you so much. Ships are already on their way here with supplies. You won't recognize this place when we're done. Oh, thanks again. I will do what I can to assist the colony in this difficult time. I am ashamed of the damage done to the Farewell, Lord. Shiela. You're in arrest, Bing. I wish you well in your hunt. I fought so hard, but any thought of my own caused so much pain. Thank you for everything you did. Uh, yeah, let's get out of here. Finally, that damn thing is... And with the power cells you brought, I can get this place up and running again. It will take time for things to get back to normal. Thank you for freeing us. Right, let's get the hell out of here. I think it's this way, yeah. Over two hours. Well, it's right three o'clock. Jeez. I have at least what two side quests. Technically, this is um, two side quests to actually do. This I might do all stream. Try to hopefully find the last few tidbits. Though some of these could be hopefully tied to these two. So I might do yeah definitely want to do these two, and then from there hopefully try to find the last few. Ones I need of those. Uh, if I say I might see if I might be back on later tonight. Kind of depends what. Um. Stand by, shore party. Decontamination in progress. My core partner wants to play tonight and. What we end up playing. Commander, you look pale. Are you suffering any ill effects from the cipher? The cipher shook me up a bit. I might be able to help you. I am oh, an I expert you on the Protheans. If I join my consciousness to yours, maybe we can make some sense of it. Do it. 
Hurry, we don't have much time. Relax, Commander. Embrace eternity. a distress call. A message sent out to cross the Prothean Empire. A warning against the Reapers. But the warning came too late. What about the Conduit? There were other images. Locations. Places I recognized from my research. Ilos! The Conduit is on Ilos! That is why Saren needed to find the Mew Relay. It is the only way to get to Ilos. We have to get to Ilos. Forget it. The Mew Relays inside the Terminus systems. Alliance ships are not welcome there. Neither are Spectres. The Conduit's on Ilos. That's where Saren is heading. I plan to be waiting when he gets there. Saren will have his entire fleet orbiting Ilos. You will never make it down to the surface without reinforcements. You need to alert the Council. We need a fleet to... to... Oh, I am sorry. The joining is exhausting. I should go to the medical bay and lie down for a moment. Dr. Chakwas should take a look at you. That will not be necessary. I just need some rest. Somewhere quiet. We're done here. Dismissed. Bum chicka wow wow. I definitely will like try to get these done. I hope that's all the cycling. We actually got quite a bit done. I mean, I know it's that one world, but definitely got quite a bit done. All the side quests and main job there. if I want to say this for next time or oh, I forwarded the mission update to the Citadel commander we got confirmation on those reinforcements Ambassador Udino wants us to report back to the Citadel. The Council's massing a joint species fleet to deal with Saren and his Geth. 
I knew they'd come around. Back to the Citadel, Joker. I want the Normandy at the head of that fleet. Yes, sir. Wait, I'm not ready yet. I saw a side quest to do. Why gave me side? What's gonna leave mid main quest? Good job, Shepard. Thanks to you, the Consul's finally taking real action against Saren. The Ambassador is correct. If Saren is foolish enough to attack the Citadel, as you believe, we will be ready for him. Patrols are stationed at every mass relay linking Citadel space to the Terminus systems. You think a blockade's going to stop him? He's on Ilos looking for the conduit right now. What are you doing about that? Ilos is only accessible to the Mule Relay, deep inside the Terminus systems, Commander. If we send a fleet in there, the only possible outcome is full-scale war. Now is the time for discretion, Commander. Saren's greatest weapon was secrecy. Exposed, he is no longer a threat. This is over. One ship going into the Terminus systems won't start a war. I can be discreet. You detonated a nuclear device on Vermeer. I wouldn't call that discreet. Your style served you well in the Traverse, Commander. We recognize that. But Ilos requires a deft touch. We have the situation under control. Secrecy isn't his greatest weapon. The conduit is. Saren is a master manipulator. The conduit is just a distraction from his real plan to attack the Citadel. If Saren finds the conduit, we're all screwed. We have to go to Ilos. Ambassador Udina, I get the sense Commander Shepard isn't willing to let this go. There are serious political implications here, Shepard. Humanity's made great gains thanks to you, but now you're becoming more trouble than you're worth. You bastard! You're selling us out! It's just politics, Commander. You've done your job, now let me do mine. We've locked out all the Normandy's primary systems until for the notice you're grounded. Are you insane? After everything I've done, you still don't believe me? You don't I think care. it's time for you and your team to leave, Commander. This no longer concerns you. The Council can handle this, with my help, of course. Commander. Shepard, I cannot believe they did this to you. I am so sorry. It's not your fault. It's not right. You did everything they asked and more. Nobody else could have done what you did. The Council owes you everything, everything. Instead, they strip you of your command and ground the Normandy. I don't care if they ground me, but they refuse to go after Saren. If they don't stop him from finding the conduit, we're all dead. Perhaps we could appeal and get them to reverse their decision. I pushed them as hard as I could. They wouldn't budge. So you're going to walk away? You will just give up and doom the entire galaxy to extinction? We're out of the game for now, but I'll find a way back in. I believe in you, Shepard. Sorry to interrupt, Commander. Got a message from Captain Anderson. What did he want? Only said to meet him in that club in the wards. Flux. You should probably go meet with him. Keep going for now. Equalizing interior pressure with exterior atmosphere logged the commanding officer is ashore exo Presley has the deck cool, 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 cool. After years of poor economic performance, Exogeny has announced that its research colony on Pharos is finally returning a profit. 
New discoveries and a dedicated colonization effort have finally paid off for Exogeny. Exogeny's stock rose sharply with the announcement, with investors pleased at this surprising news. Okay. Yeah, what is it? Why were you tossed out of there? Doran didn't have a clue what I was doing. He, he assumed I was cheating. But you were cheating, were you not? I was just tipping the scales in my favor, only as an experiment. It still sounds like cheating to me. To you, maybe. But this device is merely intended to simulate situations and record results. Recording losses is easy, of course. Nobody notices those. Why do you need to record these outcomes? Ah, now you're getting to the heart of it. I've spent the last five years developing a system that can accurately predict wins and losses on the Quasar. Can I get the tractor to paint again? No worries. And I can, complete the algorithms. can you do that? Isn't that illegal? It's illegal to use my system, but I won't use it. I'll sell it to others. I just need a few more wins recorded. Does the device help me win? The device is set to emit a frequency that will slightly increase your odds. Nothing like my system eventually will, but enough to allow you to record your wins more quickly. Hmm. Complete Helios, that's the next one. Hacking, dampening, biotics, biotics. No, alright, not, not much left besides a few powers. I don't think I have singularity. I don't think I have dampening. I don't think I have AI hacking. I think I'll take my chances the old fashioned mm. way. Take so yourself. Well, I have Nick has Neuroshock. Neuroshock, Neuroshock, first aid. Overload, sabotage. Sent you a pick? Okay. Where did you send it? Ah, oh, Facebook, okay. I thought you should totally post it on the awesome reese. On the Discord, but yeah, yeah, you sleep, yeah, I bet. Yeah, I'm probably just gonna keep going just, just so like I can hopefully fly again and then uh I'll probably do the side quest later. Jenna came back looking for work. Thanks for getting her out of Cora's den. I was glad to help out. Yeah, everyone seems real happy. I sense that you are less than pleased with her return. I'm glad she's out of the den. I'd just forgotten what it was. I haven't had a decent tip since she got back. I'm glad you came, Shepard. I heard what happened. 
They pulled me off the mission. Just like when they forced you to give up the Normandy. I know, I'm sorry. I wanted to warn you, but there was no way to get a message to you before you docked. I know you're pissed off right now, but you can't give up. They all think this is over, but we both know it's not. You have to go to Ilos. You have to stop Saren from using the conduit. There's only one ship that can get me into the Terminus systems undetected, and she's grounded. Citadel controls locked out all the Normandy systems, but if we override the Ambassador's orders, we can get them to bring the Normandy back online. You can be in the Terminus systems before anyone even knows you're gone. If we steal the Normandy, you're the one left holding the bag. Oh, I see. And if That's Saren cool. Finds the conduit, life as we know it is over. The Reapers will destroy us. Humans, Asari, everybody. You're the only one who can stop him, Shepard. So I'll do whatever it takes to get you on the Normandy and off this station. Okay. Yeah, it's good to have fun. Yeah, thank you. That's amazing. You should definitely feel free to show off and yeah, definitely have at it. Stealing the Normandy is mutiny. What if the crew won't help me? The Normandy is your ship now, Commander. Her crew will follow you to the ends of the galaxy. We both know that. I won't forget this, Captain. I can unlock the Normandy from one of the consoles in the Citadel Control Center. You'll have a few minutes before anyone realizes what happened. That is a restricted area patrolled by armed guards. How are you going Leave to... Leave that to me. Just make sure you're in the Normandy when the systems come back online. You're gonna get yourself killed. There has to be another way. Ambassador Udina issued the lockdown order. If I can hack into the computer in his office, maybe I can override it. He won't just stand by while you use his computer. Hopefully he won't be there. If he is, I'll just have to think of something. The Ambassador will not forgive this, Captain. You will be charged with treason, a capital offense. We don't have a lot of options. I break into the Ambassador's computer, or I take my chances with the patrols in Citadel Control. Oh, damn. I don't think screw that guy, but... You'll have a better chance if you go after the Ambassador's computer. I was hoping you'd say that. The Ambassador has made this personal. You ready to get the hell off this station, Commander? I still have some things to take care of. Come see me when you're ready to do this. I'll be right here, waiting for you. Alright, so let's wrap it up here. No, no! Okay, yeah, I'm okay. I think. Alright, so yeah, let's wrap up there, and... Oh, we'll see how things go. Alright. Crap. Huh. Oh, so yeah, I think it's a good spot to stop for tonight. Oh, today afternoon, so pretty early. 
Hopefully I can still get some of these side quests done. I, I don't know. And maybe I should have done it before Elios. Or before leaving the, the planet I'm on. Like way before finishing that planet. We'll have to kind of like wait and see. Um, but yeah, like I said, I, we'll see if, I'm, if I'll be back on tonight or not. Ah, change your mind? I think I'll take my chances. Hmm. Take yourself. Um, so yeah, we'll see if I'll be back on tonight or not, um, and then, uh, like I said, uh, the rest of the weekend, stay, stay tuned, uh, tomorrow we're having a special Extra Life Sentence stream from last year, uh, we'll be doing a, a way out with Emmys, as well, she'll be doing her one chip, so definitely make sure to follow her, um, Friday, uh, we'll be doing another special, uh, a later, later stream, again, we'll probably be starting pretty late. Uh, around one o'clock Eastern, I think. Uh, we're playing with Lard. We'll be playing some Disc Jam. Uh, kind of a little throwback, dusting off that little digital backlog. Uh, it's another game we never 100%ed. Uh, so, I don't know if we'll actually go for, for the 100% or not, but yeah. nice, little, have a nice little throwback. Um, and then we'll, we'll, we'll like next week will be some more of this. Uh, so, obviously, Borderlands 3 with Lard. Uh, over at his channel, um, I'll probably be doing Dark Souls. I'm thinking Friday. I'll do my Dark Souls, and we'll see what I'm up to Thursday. Because uh, most likely uh, next week I'll be done with Mass Effect. So depending how long, far along I am, um, I think it'll be like kind of like Mass Effect till I finish, and or we'll see what we go after that. But till then, thank you all again for coming out, for hanging out, uh, for chatting. Um, let's see who we're rating. Yes. Oh, have you restarted? Okay, I know who we're rating. Put these back on those demon souls. So yes, again, just a quick shout again for everyone. Thank you for coming by. Thanks for hanging out. Definitely stay, definitely stay tuned for everything. Drop a follow if you're not ready. Let me put my Discord link, my socials. Uh, I'll put the actual life link again. Definitely gotta take another look at my commands. Um, for sure, I need to update some of these. But yeah, definitely stay tuned for everyone. Appreciate all you guys, and I will catch you all next time. Goodbye.